on Roy, right? Roy um, also has a better recovery than Karma. That's don't, true. Don't overlook that. You yeah. know? I'm watching for offstage and ledge interactions. They both both these characters have very long lasting moves, so we can see a lot of things come out from both of these players, especially offstage and on the left. Yeah, this is usual, right? Roy does this combo stuff, it's fine. Um, but here's the good stuff. What happens here? He's dead! No, he's not, no, he's not, no, he's not. Okay. Yeah, Roy Jab at ledge is a monster. Oh, yeah. Um, Ridley's ledge hang is actually low enough to not get hit by that jab, I believe. So we might see a little bit more ledge hangs coming out from Ed Boy. Um, but either way, in the neutral right now, staying away from the ledge stuff. Um, with fun. Be smart. So after that explosive start, we're going to play a bit of neutral, finally. Yeah. You're going to be very smart with how you want to move around Ridley, because uh, he's got the big sweeping hitboxes. That Nair, that up tilt. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Ridley is like kind of a generalist character when you really think about it. He just has a bunch of variable tools that are good in a lot of... So oh, 42 and he's not done. Yep. yep. Ledge, what do we got? Okay, he wanted to go for a reaction, but he didn't get it. Okay, that's fine. So my question is, how does like Ridley move around Roy? I feel like you don't want to get moved. You don't want to be anywhere near him because you get, yeah, like that, right? So <laughs> I don't even need to explain it. You'll get that. So I feel like you gotta go for like maybe a more hard callout style where they want to go and then keep them there. I think at the same time though, like if you're Roy, like you're very happy. With that, yeah, right. Like Ridley's gonna be close to you. And yeah, Ray Roy. He'll yield himself to these situations and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What okay. more could you ask? Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. So. That was kind of textbook revolver, right? Get you where you want to be in the corner, catch you with a couple jabs, catch you with a couple aerials. He knows where you want to be. GG, shake my hand, right? Roy jab at ledge is such a, like, vibe, bro. Oh, it's so good. Krom can do jab F smash, but Roy's kill so much earlier, right? Roy, Roy can also do jab F smash. Exactly, right? You don't need, you can get the wet noodle. You still got your ledge guard, your, ed, ed, your ledge trap, whatever you want. Yeah, so if you're Ed Boy in the situation, I think you got to... Just be more precise and maybe go for more hard callouts and maybe parries and shields. That's my guess. Let him do his pressure, but follow up with your movement. That's, yeah, my, that's I, my thought. I think if Ridley just kind of lets Roy play his game and Ridley plays his game, I yeah. think Roy, Roy's going to come out on top. Yeah, but I mean, remember, it's a player game. Not it a, is a, exactly. right? it's a player game, so he's going to need to opt for the reads, the jukes, yeah. the, uh, uh, the adaptations. You know what stage we're on? We're on Town and City. You know what character I see? I see Roy. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, <laughs> Hey, he did a panic. Yeah. He knew what he got himself into. All right. Well, um, let's see what happens here in this game, too. Uh, yeah, see, we see more parries already. I think you want to let Roy swing and then use your movement and get out of there with your shields and stuff. That's what you got to do. Oh, barely. I like that. Okay. Like that. Okay, see, hard call out. He was pushing in, forward smash him. Get him out, right? And, like, at the same time, like, Ridley does have moves to contest Roy's range. Like, back air and there. Fair, F tilt, they're all like sorty, sorty range moves. Look at this, off the tech chase, off the jumps, we're seeing a lot more convergence from Ed Boy because he's pushing the hit boxes where Roy wants to be. Which is what he needs to do. He can't just let Revolver jump in with all yeah. the nares. He yeah, these nares are acting like a wall, the backers for the ledge pressure. Look at this, this is the Ed Boy we're used to seeing. Oh, nice recovery. Nice going recovery. For, for, mixing up, going for the flat yeah. and the ledge. Tech chase from Revolver, nothing yet. And that's a hard punish. Complete inverse. It's like Ed Boy was listening to me, dude, I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, if we see a three stock to a three stock, that's how you know you're watching good smash. Oh yeah, he went for, he went for the three. Yeah, he was he comfortable. Went for down B. Oh yeah. Okay. Now this is still Roy on town, so we could see some big conversions coming out from Revolver, but right now it's looking like he's pretty comfortable. Ed Boy, I mean, sorry. Ed Boy is weaving in and out now, keeping uh, Revolver at disadvantage. The fireball, down smash on the air dodge into ledge. Wow. Looking, looking down the barrel of a JV3 now. Yeah, these nares are just walling Roy out so well. Almost getting the forward tilt on the neutral getup. Fireballs. And oh, no nair. Okay. That's ah, it. Ah, that's it. Okay. So that was a quick response there by Ed Boy. Ed Boy said, okay, I yeah. see your three stock. Okay. So now if you're a revolver, all right, I'm going back and forth. I guess I'm like a, a secret commentator coach now. If you're a revolver, you probably want to use. Uh, know that he's going for more hard callouts and then whiff punish those callouts with your better movement. So we're going back to the movement argument. See, this is why you're on the PR. Dude, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just out here being like, wow, they really beat each other up. <laughs> I, I try. I don't know. Maybe I know something about this game. I don't really know much. <laughs> um, PS2. All right, classic stage. Um, well, yeah, yeah you, you, know, you, you said he took him to town. No, no Roy shenanigans on town. No, I, honestly, it looked like it helped Ridley more. Like those nares and backers were acting more for walls. I kind of liked it. 
Um, so going into game three, right? Let's see if Revolver can make the adaptations and get back, or if we can see the upset happen from Ed Boy over Revolver. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ed Boy already got an upset earlier we commentated. Oh, true. Hey, make it two. Why stop at one? Okay, we already see the safer pressure coming out from Revolver. He knows he can't overcommit early. Only when you have a read. Yeah, see? There you go. Back here. Now he wanted that. Down there. Not it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, keeping it even now. I think both players are kind of adjusted to how each other want to move around each other. Yes, I forgot to mention, Revolver actually won Ignite last week. So, but Ed Boy is looking to make a run this week if he can keep this stock up. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Chill, chill, chill. Revolver loves his Roy Downers at Legend. Oh, and, yeah. And they're so good. Like, you either get a two frame and take the stock or just keep playing the game. Yeah. I mean, if you can take out the Ignition Champion, oh, that must feel pretty good. Juggles. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Those retreating uppers kind of acting like Sephiroth, but, you know, much smaller. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, profiling the up smash. Okay. Oh, Ed Boy trapped in shield, but using that Nair to break the pressure. Nice. Yeah, look at that retreating forwarder. Now he's like trying to play like a swordie. Very, very cool. Wait, what? Was that SDI? Uh, I, I don't know what I that was. It might have been, but he definitely sneaked out of that move. If Ridley got out of that, I want to know something, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, but this is still even, actually. I feel like if Ridley gets an offstage play... Jeb. No oh, Jeb. Okay, good trade. All right. What do we got going on? Yeah, this stock is crucial. You want to yeah. be the first to take this stock yeah. going into the last. Yeah. You have so much leverage over your opponent if you get this stock going. Beautiful side B. Nice match. Oh, the reset on the match. You know, he's done that before, he's too. He's that. like, okay, I got you across the stage. You're probably going to match okay. again. Okay, last stock, game three, stock of champions. What do we got going on? Yeah, oh. we're down to the wire now, ladies okay. and gentlemen. Now, Roy does have a lot more cheese than Ridley, I will say. But, I mean, Ed Boy's been keeping up with Roar's pace really well, which is very hard for most players in Chicago. Yeah, look at that side B, that snatch. Calling him out. And it's stuffing out the mash, look at that. That jab is so good at interrupting pressure. Chase. Almost getting that up smash. Oh, okay. Now big okay. Roy combos. All right. This is it. This is the legend rock to determine the game. And he jumps. He finds it. He yep. finds yep. the Roy finesse yep. that he's been looking for all game. He yep. said, you thought this wasn't even set. Hold on, you, you didn't even play Roy yet. Yup, yup, yup. Dude, it's scary. Roy on ledge, bro. He's absurdly strong. R Roy on ledge, man. It, yeah. It's just, you die. Yeah. Jab confirms. But, dude, mad respect to Ed Boy. He was playing so goddamn well. Yeah, that really could have gone either 